Hello friends, today we will see MRI both thigh. The position we have kept here is supine feet first. We can uh, give position supine head first as well. But uh, supine feet first position is way more uh, comfortable than supine head first. And coil we have used body coil. These are the sequence we have acquired. Three plane localizer, star core, T1 core, star axial, T1 axial, star sage for particular thigh. In case patient has pain in right right thigh, then you have to take star sage for right thigh only. Then T1 sage and These are optional sequence PDFS action. So we'll see the planning now. We'll see planning of star core. See planning here. Whenever you are taking long bones or long body region, you have to acquire stir core first, stir core and T1 core, and don't forget to place marker wherever patient has pain or wherever you have the region of interest. Next is T1 core. The planning is T1 core is same as star core. You can see here. Next is star axial. Star axial is depend on what your region of interest. So here we have taken for whole thigh. You can see here. Scrolling down. Next is T1 axial. Again same as star axial planning, you have to keep it same as star axial, you can see number of slice here, the slice thickness also, slice thickness we have kept it, five millimeter and gap is three millimeter. Next is star sage. We have kept, we have taken it for right thigh because patient has pain in right thigh. So we have only taken it for right thigh. The star sage. You can see I'm scrolling it down. Next is T1 Satch. Again, we have kept it planning uh, same as Star Satch. You can see we have used a sag band also to avoid the motion artifact and flow artifacts. And the last one is PD Axial. You can see we have taken it for both thigh. You have the option of taking for particular thigh. We have we can take it for right thigh also, but in that case you have to increase the oversampling band. But here we have taken it for both thigh, so we don't have to give oversampling. That's it guys. Thank you.